Hi everyone, I'm Miss Nancy. Welcome back to the science portion of our Staycation Bible School. In just a little bit, Miss Jen is going to be with us and oh my golly gracious, wait until you see what you guys are going to do today. But in the meantime, I have something I want to share with you. It's probably my absolute favorite piece of the armor of God and that is our shield. I made this shield because I thought this is a, a cool shield. If you were playing Nerf with me or something like that, then you'd be shooting the, the little bullets at me and I would be doing this, hiding behind it, moving around or whatever. And so it's a pretty nice shield. It covers my head and uh, the upper part of my chest. Let me show you an awesome shield. Now, I didn't make this shield because it's a really big shield, but this is what I'm talking about. Look at that shield. This is a Roman soldier, and this is the armor that we've been talking about all week long. We've talked about the belt and the breastplate. Here's our shield, and this one happens to be so large that when the Roman soldiers would be in battle, this was often the very first line of defense. So what that meant is that they could literally hide behind this shield because it was almost as big as they were. And so definitely the enemy was kept away. And so the way that God's shield works for us our shield of faith is if we choose to believe in God's truth, God's word, then we have a full body shield that protects us from negative things, from bad words, from bad thoughts. And these are things that either someone says or directs toward us, like um, you're not going to make it, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're not smart, you have no friends. Those are really bad, ugly things. Well, you know what? With your shield of faith, it says right here that you are all of that. You are wonderful. You are smart. You are beautiful. You have friends. You are loved. And also, sometimes we say these ugly things to ourselves. I don't know why, but sometimes we will say, oh, I'm so fat. Oh, I'm too short, or I'm too this, or I'm not enough that. That's all negative self-talk. And so with my shield of faith, I just stop it right there. Just, uh-uh, not today, because I have my shield of faith, and I know that I am just the way that I'm supposed to be. And if you choose to use your shield of faith by believing in God's word and God's truth, then you also will have that full armor right here, this full shield, just like the Roman soldiers did. And so all of that bad stuff, just back off because we got it covered with our shield of faith. Now, if you're ready, let's join Miss Jen as she works with you on this fantastic experiment today. And then I'll see you tomorrow for our very last day of Staycation Bible School. Hello, friends, and welcome to day four of our Staycation Bible School. Today we're talking about the Shield of Faith. And our experiment is a pepper and soap experiment. So in your bags, you should have had a little baggie that had a toothpick and a little packet of pepper inside. I, uh, I have some pepper in this bowl here uh, that I ground for my pepper grinder and it, it works. I promise the experiment will work with that too. So if you need to make shift or you want more or you want to do it more than once, you're free to do that if you have a pepper grinder. If you don't just have regular fine ground pepper. In this bowl I have the dish soap that was part of our, uh, our, our uh, list of items we need for this as well. So 
we are going to take this clear plastic bowl. You can use a clear plastic bowl. You can use a pan, whatever you think would, would work better for you. I'm going to use this, this bowl. And we're going to put some water in here. You want to put some water in for me, Julian? Come on, you got to pour it. Okay, I think that's enough water there. Now, here I have my pepper. Marshall's gonna help me sprinkle it over. There we go. All right, do you see? We have our pepper floating on top of the water. All right, here I'm gonna take my soap and my, my toothpick, and I'm just gonna dab it in. You just need to have just a teeny little bit on the end. You can't even see it on there. Just a teeny little bit on the end of your toothpick, and we're gonna stick it in. Now, before I do so, let's think about what what we think might happen when I stick this in the water with the pepper on top. Marshall, do you have any ideas what you think might happen? I think it might turn into a star. A star? Julian, what do you think might happen? I don't know. You don't know? Do you want to find out? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's find out. Here we go. It turned into a... Wow, did you see that? It turned into a fidget spinner. What happened? Spinner. A fidget spinner? Yeah. Let's try it again over here. Let's see what happens. Aww. It's all right. Let's try the other end of our toothpick. Sometimes yeah. that happens. Let's see. No. Nope. Doesn't want to be our friend right now. <laughs> Let's try again. <gasps> There, you can kind of see it happen again. Do you see that? That is pretty cool. Did you guys see that? Yeah. So it kind of parts ways with the uh, soap on the end of can my I toothpick try? here. In just a minute, I will let you try. So we want to think about what what this toothpick is in, in the explanation of... Uh, of our um, shield of faith. It's kind of like a shield, like if you think about the shield of faith, the soldiers hold it up in front of them as like a first line of defense. We can shield ourselves with faith by trusting and believing in Jesus. In today's experiment, the pepper in the water is an example of things that test our faith, like say bad, having a bad day or sadness or loss of a loved one or getting hurt. The toothpick with the dish soap on the tip represents your shield of faith and makes the bad things scatter just like the pepper scattered on the top of our water. When you put your faith in God, that's it today, folks. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.